This is One Minute with Cameron. Life and work is filled with ups and downs, mistakes, unfulfilled desires, and even loss. Then how can we remain centered and calm? To answer these ancient manuscripts offer the example of a chariot wheel. As you watch a moving chariot, the faster the chariot goes, the faster the wheels and spokes turn, until the spoke becomes unrecognizable. This is a metaphor for chaos. However, if you focus on the center of the wheel, you will see that it does not move. There is a stillness in motion. When we are in motion, we are so engaged with what is happening around us or what we are doing that we simply go with the flow without any sense of control. We get lost in the situation, but we have a choice to detach and become still, like the center of the wheel. This detachment from motion is necessary in order to take control and remain calm. Similar situation occurs in nature if you look at it. The hurricane spirals with fury. Yet the eye of the hurricane is always still. It's like being on a small boat in a river that is rapidly flowing. You have a choice to get out of the boat, relax, center yourself and reevaluate your next plan of action. By detaching and entering the center of stillness, we will obtain a wider vision of reality. We can then place things in perspective. Our priorities, purpose and vision becomes clear. To enter into the center of the calm, it takes a decision. It begins with a choice, a decision or intention to remain calm. It then takes an understanding of detachment, a sense of observing as a witness and not a participant. So by detaching and observing the situation, you will enter into the calm center of the eye of the hurricane. This detachment and witnessing reminds me of an old story from Japan. Once two Japanese monks named Tanzan and Ekido were traveling together down a muddy road in Japan. A heavy rain was falling. Coming around a the bend, they met a young girl in a silk kimono, unable to cross the intersection. Come on, girl, said Tanzan. Lifting her in his arms, he carried her over the mud. Ekido did not speak until the night. He no longer could restrain himself. He told Tanzan, We are monks and we are not supposed to be in contact with females. Why did you do that? I left a girl there at the side of the river, said Tanzan. Are you still carrying her? Not getting attached to your own thoughts is the foundation of detachment and one of the basic attributes of a great leader. Finally, to hear more about this and other topics, go to any podcast app and search Wow with Cameron.